Hi, I'm Jennifer. Welcome back to the second lesson of the Love Your Cricut mini course. It is time to make something with our crickets. Yesterday you met your cricket, got it all plugged in and positioned, and learned about its buttons and various bits. Today we're going to register our machines and do the starter project, which is similar for both the Cricut Explorer and the Cricut Maker. But we're going to go one step further and talk about the different things that you can cut on each of these machines. So let's get your Cricut set up and with your computer and registered. So we're gonna start by opening up a web browser on our computer. I recommend Google Chrome, but you can also use Firefox, Safari, or Internet Explorer. Now type in cricut.com slash setup, just like it's listed in your Let's Get Started guide. The screen is gonna walk you through the entire process. To begin, click on the green Get Started button to continue. By the way, if you don't have a computer and need to set up your Cricut Explorer or Maker on an iPad or iPhone, there is a great video on how to do that over at Cricut.com. Next, the Cricut plugin lets your computer communicate with your machine. Click the green download button to download the plugin file. Once it's downloaded, open or run the plugin. Follow the directions on screen to install the plugin. Once it's installed, click continue in the browser. Now you need to create a Cricut ID and password for your Cricut Design Space account. You'll need this to use your Cricut and it's going to give you access to images, projects, and purchases across all of your devices. If you already made an account, perhaps when you first bought your Cricut on Cricut.com, Type in your email address and the password that you chose. But if this is your first time logging in, click the Create a Cricut ID and fill out your information. And then click the green Create a Cricut ID button to continue. In creating your Cricut ID account, you can get a free trial subscription to Cricut Access. This is a service that gives you unlimited access to tens of thousands of images and patterns. I have a Cricut Access account that I pay for and I find it valuable, but it's completely optional and it's not required to make great things on your Cricut. So now click the green accept button to get your free Cricut Access trial along with any special images that might have come along with your machine purchase. As some, um, sometimes there's bundles and they get bonus images. Great, and now we are ready to create our very first project. So in your start here packet, there are some cutting materials. It varies based on which machine you have for the Cricut Explorer Air. I have gray cardstock and blue cardstock. If you have the Cricut Maker, you'll also get a piece of fabric. Plus everyone gets the tools that you need, a mat and a pen for the first project. So to start, we remove the protective cover from the mat, just like this. This blue mat is a light grip mat. Save this protective cover. Don't throw it away because you're going, to, you're going to want to use it when you're done using your mat. It's going to protect it and it's going to help keep it from sticking to other things. Now locate the cardstock that came in your packet and place it vertically on your mat. You'll want to put it in the upper left hand corner of your mat lined up with the adhesive grid. Just like this. Smooth everything out. If you put your card stack wrong wrong the first time, which I'm pretty sure I did, here's what you do to fix it. Turn the mat over and bend it gently like this and slowly. And now if you do this, your card stack will not curl or tear. Just pull it off right like just like this. Now to put it back on again, I recommend you put it starting at the upper corner just like this and that makes it a lot easier to position. Make sure there's no creases, wrinkles, or air bubbles. Now let's put the mat in your machine. This is what it looks like and it's ready to go. So we're going to position it right here just like this. 
I'm going to put it under the mat guides on either side of the rollers. Keep the mat pushed against the rollers with gentle pressure and then press the mat load and unload button on the top right of your machine. The one with the double arrows. Your mat and the cutting machine carriage will move. If your mat does not move when you do this, that means that you did not load your mat correctly. It probably is because you didn't have enough pressure against the rollers when you push the load unload button. So to fix this, push that button again. It's gonna reset it. Place the mat against these rollers. Make sure you have good firm pressure and you know you should be really pushing it and then press that load unload button. And this is what happens and it's gonna get easier the more you do it. Now your first project will also use a pen, so we need to put that in as well. So first you open accessory clamp A. You're gonna take the pen out of the plastic packaging that it comes with. Here we go. So look for the little arrow that's near the cap. This is important because this is going to help you insert it. Remove the cap and put the pen into the accessory clamp while you're holding up on the bottom and you push it in until you hear it click and the arrow disappears. That's how you know the pen is in properly. And you just close it up just like this. That's important as well. And I like to put this cap right back on the top of the pen so that I don't lose it because yes, I lose those caps. Now we go back to our computer where we see the matte preview screen. This shows us what it's going to cut. It also shows us um, how the cut image is going to be, be positioned on the cutting mat. So double check that your mat and the card stack is positioned the same as what you see on the screen. And if it's not, fix it now. When we're ready, we click the green go button. Now the screen will tell you what to do. So in my case, it, the first thing it says to do is to set my smart dial to card stack. So, the smart dial again is over here in cardstock. Yes, so cardstock is right there. And it says right on the dial where you want it to be. And then it says to press go. So we're gonna press the big flashing C for cut button. And as you can see, it is doing the silver pen right now. It always does what's in the accessory clamp first, and then it does the cutting. There's the hello. And now it's cutting it out. If you have a Cricut Maker, Instead of choosing on the dial, you're going to be choosing in a drop down menu on your screen. But it does the same basic thing. And it's still cutting. If we had a scoring stylus in here, it would be scoring it first instead. So does the writing or the scoring first and then does the cutting. And it can do scoring and it can do writing and cutting at the same time or scoring and cutting at the same time. But if you need to do all three, you still can do that. It's finishing it up right now. Awesome. Okay. So when the cutting is done, well, the, the mat load unload button flashes. So press that to unload your mat. Now, before you forget, take the pin out of the clamp. Just pull up on it, just like that. Make sure you put the cap back on, put it tip down in your accessory cup and it'll, then you know the ink won't, the ink will stay where you want it to be. All right. So here we have our finished project. So just like I showed you before, you're gonna take this off the mat by setting your mat, your mat face down on your work surface just like this. And then we're going to gently 
curl the mat rather than trying to peel it off the front. If you do that, your paper will curl. But if we curl the mat, it doesn't do that. So you just sort of gently curl just like this and you can see it comes off pretty easily. There we go. Um, it looks like it didn't work, did it? It broke. Okay, it broke. Probably because I was being too forceful at the end there. So I'm gonna leave this in the video so that you can see. This, here now here's the cool part. So. Cricut knows that we make mistakes and they have provided two pieces of cardstock. So we're gonna do this again. This time we're not gonna mess it up. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and peel these things off here. They come off pretty easily. This is a light grip mat. Um, so it's not too difficult to get them off. And I can usually just get them off just like that. And there's like, it's sort of a phone supposed to be and it was supposed to keep this part on here and it tore so I can see that this is really quite fragile so we're gonna be more careful when we do it the second time nothing wrong with mistakes mistakes is how we learn so get all this stuff off I will show you a good way to get these little bits off in our next video too So now we have our cut project, which looks like this. It will look different if you have a different machine. Um, my Explore Air 2 um, had a card similar, but a little different. And my Maker had a card with some fabric in it. Okay, so we're gonna take this off the mat in just the same way that I showed you earlier. So you're gonna set this on your surface and you're gonna bend your mat. Instead of instead of trying to peel your paper off, you're going to do this. And as you do this, you're going to see that it's going to actually like sort of lift away on its own. So you're going to curl your mat away and hold down on the paper. And that's going to keep that paper from curling on you. Now when you get to the phone, if you have the same one I do, um, it's a little delicate there, so go slow. All right, I went slow and make sure that I did not uh, tear anything off. So this is what we're left with, the bits here. I will explain to you how to get these bits off in our next video. And this is what we have. Take off these little bits here. So we have a card that says hello and has a phone. Now let's finish up this project while we're at it. So just set your card flat on your surface with the card front away from you and then we're going to fold it in half. That's all we're gonna do, just like this. Just match up your corners and crease it. Give it a nice good crease, just like this. Okay, and then there, this blue cardstock is an insert for your card to finish it. So this doesn't have any cutting, it's all ready to go. Just fold it in half, corner to corner, crease it. And then to complete it, you just put it right inside your card like this. And there we go. We have our finished starter project all ready to go. Isn't that cute? So there we go. And now if you have the Cricut Maker, 
you'll be directed to cut your fabric on the pink fabric mat, which looks like this. And that's it. You've made your very first project. This is what my very first project looked like when it when I did my Explore Air 2. So yours might look a little different as well. So you can make a lot of cards. Here are some of the cards that I have made on my Cricut. So I have this um, coffee cup takeout card that you can use for a, a takeout coffee cup card that you can put a gift card in. This is a Christmas tree pull-up card where you pull up on a thing and the lights come on. This is a, um, that's one, this one here is a paper flower trellis card. So those are flowers made out of paper. This is an autumn, really simple uh, candy cane. That's a candy cane. Candy corn card, really nice and simple. This also can be made out of fabric. These are all things that I've designed and are on my blog. Um, and some of them are particularly good for beginners. Like this one I recommend for beginners because it's actually, while it may look, um, may look complicated, it's actually quite easy to make. So this is my pop-up butterfly card. And when you pop it up, uh, the wings flutter, which I think is pretty cool, right? Um, this is another gift card holder. It's a house and you pull it up. So, and the card goes inside, which is great for someone who just got a house, something like that. And then I have also a set that I have designed of really simple cards. They're inspired by these starter projects. And all they take is just two pieces of cardstock, just like the starter projects, but they take it just a one step further. So this is one piece. This is one piece, it's from the same mat, but it's got, um, you know, it's got a theme on the front and, you know, a theme inside, and it's got a place to put a gift card right here. So I have a snowflake, a wreath, cupcake, um, I believe this is a winged heart, an owl, bunch of flowers, a lantern, and there's a, there's a whole bunch of them like this. There's 24. So this is a great, if you enjoy cards, want to make some more cards that are really nice and easy, this is a great beginner project. And I will put the link to these cards below so that you can get to them as well. Now there's more that you can cut out than just cardstock. So you can also cut out vinyl. Um, just like the vinyl that you see here on the back of my laptop, which is self-adhesive vinyl, um, or like this vinyl on this Santa sack that I made. So cardstock and vinyl are the two materials that most people cut, but there's more that the Cricut can do. You can cut light materials like copy paper, aluminum foil, sticky notes, vellum, wax paper, washi sheets, construction paper, adhesive foil, parchment paper, acetate, stencils, window cling, and sticker paper. And you can also cut thicker materials like poster board, craft foam, duct tape sheets, grocery bags, leather, magnet sheets, canvas, corrugated cardboard, aluminum, metal, heavy watercolor paper, and chipboard. Fabric can also be cut on your Cricut. If you have a Cricut Explore, then you can cut out any fabric that you can bond first with something like Wonder Under, which is a bondable, fusible web. Um, I have made, I have cut out bonded felt and cotton on my Cricut Explore. On the Cricut Maker, however, you can cut out virtually any fabric without bonding at first if you use the rotary blade that comes with it. I've cut felt, wool, cotton, silk, polyester, and fleece on my Maker. It's pretty amazing. Now, which blade and which mat you use for various materials does vary, and it's important if you want good results. In our next lesson, I will talk about using the correct mats, blades, and tools for your projects. So your exercise for this lesson is either to do your starter project that came with your Cricut, if you haven't done it yet. If you have done it, then I recommend that you get one of these really simple, uh, easy to make cards, or one of my other projects that I recommend for beginners. And again, I have a list of these that you can do. They're very easy, they're very simple, they don't take long at all, and I have a full tutorials on how to make them if you get stuck. So 
and often they're video tutorials as well. So definitely make something. I want you to make something. Make a starter card that comes with your Cricut or one of my projects, then post a picture of your project in a Facebook group so that we can all see the awesome thing that you've made. So in our next lesson, we're gonna talk about our tools and accessories. So until then, I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.